Hi guys, so today's going to be my part two of my Best of Beauty 2012. This one's going to mainly be like hair care and um, skin care products and maybe some random other ones just I'll include at the end, um, like miscellaneous things. Um, but I'm going to start off with hair care since it's sitting right here. And the first one is going to be this um, healthy, sexy hair. This is the soy um, wheat leave-in conditioner. This is really great because it does really make my hair super soft. I apply it just on the ends of my hair and kind of just like comb through it, but I do it when it's, my hair is wet. I find that it works a lot better. I don't really like applying things when it's dry because then it feels really like gunky or something. Um, this one has soy and cocoa in it. It does make my hair um, tangle-free and stuff, but it also really um, kind of hydrates it so it doesn't dry it out. Um, so I really like this a lot. My next one is from Sexy Hair again. This is for curly sexy hair. This I really, really like because if I'm curling my hair, I will apply this when my hair is wet and it kind of gives it a really nice texture and it really holds the curls. Um, if I apply it when it's dry, I apply it when I after I curl my hair and it will kind of separate the curls and make it look a little bit more fuller. Not like crazy full, but it kind of just separates it so it defines each curl. Um, and you can kind of see all the curls and they don't blend so much together. Um, I really like this a lot and I love the fact that sometimes I can skip on, I can use less hairspray if I use this because it will hold my curls and make them last a lot longer at least. Um, a shampoo that I loved so much and I really it was like an accident that I fell in love with it. I actually got it in one of my influencer boxes and I wasn't thinking it was going to be as great as it was but it was so amazing and it made my hair so soft and I absolutely love it and it's the um, clear scalp and therapy. This is just the total care one. Um, it nourishes your scalp for strong beautiful hair. Um, this also makes my hair so soft and um, so manageable. I notice that when I stop using this my ends are dry um, but when I use this my ends are really um, nourished and they're not dry and it does, I don't know if it really makes it feel strong but I really like that it makes my hair soft so <laughs> I feel like it's doing it a good job. Some hair tools. I think that's mostly hair stuff. I didn't have any hairspray because I don't even have hairspray. I'm out of hairspray. Um, some hair tools that I really liked. The first one is this curling one by Numi. I love that it's tapered so it does give your curls a little bit more volume and it does kind of make them a little bit more like fuller looking and it does heat up super fast and it lasts a really long time and it's pink. Hello! Um, I really do love this and I think it's a good investment. I will put links down below if you want to check out their sites or whatever. Um, they do have different sizes but I love the tapered one because then it makes the curls look more I don't know, not precise, but it just makes the curl like thicker and then it goes, tapers the curls off, I guess. Um, a straightener that I really, really like is this um, KQC Professional Ceramic um, Straightener, and I'll put a link down below if you want to check them out as well. This is just so nice because it heats up again really fast, and the ceramic plates don't really fry your hair. It kind of smooths your hair and it makes it more shiny, which I didn't know that a heat iron could do that. Usually they would dry it out, but this doesn't dry it out, especially when you use the um, heat protectant that they came with, that it came with. It's really nice, um, and it's straightener, but it does have a um, swivel cord on it and a heat temperature that goes all the way up to 410, and then it has an on and off. The only thing I don't like is that they don't have automatic turnoffs, which can be hassle if you forget, but I don't forget because I'm OCD and I gotta unplug it before I even leave. Um, some hair care products, or not hair care, some skin care. Pill. Whoopsie. First and foremost is this Clarisonic. I got this at the beginning of January last year, and I can't tell you enough how much I love this. It does it has changed my skin and made my skin so much nicer. Um, it has cleared up my skin. It has minimized some of my pores. It does get rid of blackheads. Um, I do notice if you use it too much, you could get little bumps and little like under the skin kind of pimples. Um, but you just, you'll kind of find out where the areas are and you don't want to just use it so much on there. Um, other than that, I just love this. I can't explain to you enough how like beneficial it has been for my skin and how just like clear my complexion has gotten and how smooth my skin has been and it's just wonderful. <laughs> A um, skincare line that I really loved and I just has helped with clearing my skin is the acne.org line and I don't know why all the bottles do this. 
But I absolutely love this. This has been probably a big difference in making my skin um, a lot clearer and getting that blemish free and kind of keeping it from being so oily. A toner that I really, really, really recommend is this Neutrogena Acne Stress Control control toner. I always apply a toner. I feel like it helps. I know that it probably doesn't really help, but I feel like it helps and with clearing my skin. So I really like this one. It's really inexpensive. You can get it at the drugstore. I believe it's like six or seven dollars. Um, so if you're in need of a toner, the acne stress line is similar. It's supposed to be similar to the acne.org line. Um, I noticed that the wash though, your skin kind of got used to it and then it didn't really do anything. A eye cream that I loved, loved, loved so much last year was the Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Eye Cream. This is so amazing and it's totally worth the money. It's so moisturizing and so rich and lathering and it feels so nice and creamy on your eyes. I swear I could just like lather it on there. I just love it so much. Again, it's a little bit more pricey but it's totally worth the money um, because how moisturizing it is and how long it lasts because the jar is pretty big. I absolutely love this so much. Look at this. This baby is actually from Cleopatra's Choice and again, I will link their channel down below. This is 100% pure African shea butter. This is really great and I just came across. I never thought of using shea butter for anything, um, but I recently, not recently, I got this a while back and I actually really like this for cuts, burns. Um, it really does help soothe it and like heal it and it does it like so fast and it's all natural so I really like that. Um, it does absorb really nicely and it kind of cleans um, any imperfection and it pours. It is a little bit greasy but it feels so nice and like soothing when you apply it to like a cut or a scrape. I usually like to use it on like razor burns and it does kind of make the razor burn go away super fast so I actually really really love this. I will and it lasts a long time because I have like a big jar but I just dig out of the top because it's kind of hard to get it out um, because it is in like a tub so I just kind of scrape off the top and then I'll just kind of put up my fingers and rub it on my legs. And then when I apply my lotion it doesn't like burn or anything. Um, sometimes like when I'm wearing pants or I apply a lotion it does kind of irritate my um, razor burn and then it kind of gets itchy and it's just a headache. Um, tanning lotion, you know, I've mentioned more than a hundred times that I always self tan and I have been for a few years now but I do it at least once a week. And this one by Axon has been my favorite of the year because it is so, so dark. Um, it is a little bit more on the pricier side, but I do love how dark it is and how it's paraben free. It does have Jahaba oil. I don't know how to say it. Um, it's long wearing kind of. I don't really find that any, any sunless tanner is long wearing. I always have to apply it every week. And I apply like a, mo a moisture lotion throughout the week to keep it lasting and it doesn't, it doesn't work. And I exfoliate and it just doesn't work. They say this was to last like two weeks and never last two weeks. Um, this one does have DHSA in it, but I'm not going to get too in detail with that because it will just be like a whole spiel on that. Um, this is the Premium Sunless Weekly Tanner, and I just love how dark it gets. And the smell of it isn't so bad as so many of the other ones. Um, it's still bad, don't get me wrong, but it's not as bad as other ones. Last but not least, I have a few lotions I just want to mention. The Vaseline Lotion. Um, Total Care Cocoa Butter is amazing and it's inexpensive so you can't really go wrong. Um, it's just one of those lotions that are really nice in the winter time to keep you moisturized. I like again to use it for self tanner to keep it my tan lasting a little bit longer and I love the, I just love the, the smell of cocoa butter. You can't go wrong with cocoa butter at all. But like a girlier scent lotion, it was hard for me to decide because I have so many lotions. This one is the Drenched in Pink lotion. This smells so good. It smells like candy. It makes me just want to like eat it. I absolutely love I love it so much. And it's in this huge thing and it lasts you seriously forever. And the smell just smells really perfumey and it lingers throughout the day. And it's long wearing and I like how thick it is. Um, so love, love that. I think that is all. I don't really have any randoms that I wrote down. Let's just, let's just wing it. Let's wing it. A random winging it. So TV show was definitely Gossip Girl. I never ever watched Gossip Girl ever, but I, what was I even, I don't even know how I came across it. I think I started watching it on like, it was on television, they were playing reruns, and then I signed up for Netflix just so that I could watch it, and I watched all the seasons, um, all one through, I think it was four or five, I'm not sure until the new season. I watched all the seasons <laughs> in a matter of probably like two weeks, maybe a week. I like literally was addicted to it. I couldn't like, 
every time you it got over I had to like go on to the next one because I couldn't wait to see what happened so that was probably my favorite show other than I don't know what else Desperate Housewives and they both ended Gossip Girl and Desperate Housewives but I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself all these shows are ending um what else song would probably be that one's a hard one too because I can't just say just name off a song um, maybe the Katy Perry one I really like that um, Katy Perry one I can't even think of the name though Wide Awake I think that's it that one was a really good song Nicki Minaj album anyone on that was my favorite I like her first one though because I know all the words the first album and TV show um, movie I don't even know the movie one is gonna be hard too I really liked the Twilight movies um, Ted was a good one but I like really stupid humor I just find super stupid humor always entertaining so that's it I don't know if you have any random 2012 maybe I can answer them um, so, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorites were, and I will link the first um, video of my Best of Beauty 2000 favorites, the makeup favorites, all down below, as well as any other links that you might need. If you have any other questions, just, just ask me. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and a happy new year, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.